so is Jimmy, since he broke her Elvis, is he staying there or he got out too? No, he's there. He quieted down. Yeah. Okay, so, but she's going to be, he may be here later on if she keeps ragging him. Could be. Yeah. Well, let's you and I stay out, out of that. That's enough conversation. Well, I don't want to get involved in that because. I left there earlier and I went over to uh, Lone Pine so I could watch the Michigan Wolverines get Did you beat. watch the game? They lost. Okay. Was Brian over there? No. Okay. All no. right. Talk to you later, buddy. I, I got to go to bed. bed. Are you okay if you get, can you have, can I give you an overabundance of tranquility tonight? <laughs> That'd be great. Okay. All right. You know, we got, we got a goodie bag from uh, Indiana. We'll go over that. I wanted to open it up when you're all together. You got, yeah. you got gifts. Huh. A big, not a bag, but a big box. You know, I sit out here by myself and write songs and work on songs, and I have a lot of tranquility. I, I am alone. Nobody's going to come up and jump me, you know, and I don't, I don't worry when I'm out here. I, I sit up here late. I know. Get up at night and sit here and write songs and, you know, I, I just sit here and rock in this chair and think and think and think again and think some more. And sooner or later you come up with some good stuff. Yeah. I mean, if you think enough, it's just like, you know, I don't know how much thinking you got in your job, but I imagine it's a lot, you know? A little bit. And my job is thinking about lyrics. I, mean, it's, I would find that difficult, more difficult than my job, lyrics, because you got to have gift and talent. So you got a gift and a talent. you got to be gifted. Yeah. I won... Songwriter of the Year in Michigan in the music magazine. That's very good. Congratulations. Yeah, well, I didn't even know I was up for the running. <laughs> when they told me, I was like, what? I did what? <laughs> you did good. But, you know, I'm, I'm so happy. And I, I'm trying to keep only good people in my life. Bad people need to be weeded out. And uh, Mary's one of the best person. She's a good you person. Know, she's really good person, you know. And I love her forever, even though she's having a hard time. But I got to do what I can do to make sure her life is <coughs> okay. Yep. You know, just like shoveling her snow. You know, I'm on it. It's like when I come over here and shovel snow. I, I just give me the damn shovel. I'm on it. You know, you don't got to ask me. Just assume that I got your back. I'll be here to shovel this stuff off. I've done it a bunch of times, and I know exactly what you want done. And, you know, if, it, if there's things I can do for other people, then I'm going to do it without being asked. You don't have to ask me to do stuff. I will do it. Good With, job. You know, I know it needs to be done. I'll do it. I'm not going to be, yeah, hey, do you think you can come over and do this? No, it's already done. I was already over, raked your leaves or whatever, mowed your lawn or whatever there was. But I, I get up early and I go out and do stuff. And I wish I could go to work early, you know, because when I was roughing, I'd want to be there at six o'clock, but you can't. You got to wait till eight, nine o'clock. And I'd rather be, man, I'm I'm an early bird. All right, all right. Hey, buddy, I got to hit, hit the, I got to say good night. All right. Talk to you tomorrow. And then, uh, so uh, we got some squared away on that. We got, you know, you had a goodie box. I haven't touched it. I don't want to open it up until you, Brian, and Jimmy are together. Mm. And uh, nice uh, box there. And then we'll go from there. And then haircut, yes, vote for a haircut. Oh, yeah. That's You're okay. happy on that. Yeah. I think Jimmy might change his mind. But Jimmy wants long hair for winter. 
but uh, I, I don't know. I think he shifts with the wind. Well, he wants to keep uh, his bum image because he makes more money bumming money <laughs> when he looks He's, well, haggardly. You, yeah, he wants to look haggardly. So, uh, so trade secrets here, trade craft. So, were you there when the woman said, I seen you on YouTube? Did you hear her say that? Mm. Okay, because he said and, and gave you five bucks or him five bucks or whatever. Yeah. Like All righty. You old rock star. You're a late bloomer, but you're well, blooming, hey? Um, the grass will grow in January. Yeah. Because why? Because of Mary? Because this old heart ain't dead and buried. Here. One more time so they can hear it. The grass will grow in January. Because this old heart, it ain't dead and buried. And since I met my sweet Mary, I've seen grass grow in January. Good job. <laughs> We've got to do another live session, buddy. All right, talk to you later. But uh, when I seen grass growing in the middle of January, I was like looking down the ground going like, this is a, kind of a miracle. And then grass grows in January, and I started to think about a girl and a name that rhymed with January. My mom's name was Mary. Yeah. So, I, you know, it was Terry, Sherry, Larry, Barry, you know. No, it had to be Mary because that's my mom's name. Good. Let's pick it up in the morning. Uh, okay. Good night. Tell, her, tell all your fan club. Good night. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for the support. Thank you. Thank you, Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> and then you want to tell them thank you, Hollywood. Thank you, Hollywood. Thank you, Mount Morris, Barber. Thank Thank you, Mount Morris and the barber. All, Everybody. That's, yeah, that's right. And I think <laughs> we got Indiana with a surprise box. Thank you, Indiana, with a surprise box coming. Oh. You want to thank Indiana? Thank Indiana. That's right. I don't well, know I, I'll thank you. Yeah, I didn't know if I can use Indiana's name, so I got to double check. I think I can, <laughs> but I don't know. So, all right? Yeah. You old rock star. <laughs> all right. Hey, the grass will grow in January. Right.